Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Turbo V6 YouTube channel. In this episode, we're gonna get prepped to go to Florida. So stay tuned. So, I had to do a couple things to the truck to get it ready to go to Florida. Just got an inspection, passed the flying colors, so that's great. Swapped the wheels and tires over to the side tie wheels for the drive down to Florida. I'm actually not going to drive straight through to Florida. I'm going to stop in uh, the Carolinas, stay there for a couple days, and then uh, head on down to uh, Florida. So, sadly, we did not fix the oil leak. So, thought I had it licked, but apparently after driving on it a little bit more, it started to leak, but it's different this time. So, the seal that I put in was just from AutoZone, you know, nothing special. Didn't really say any spec specs about it. It was the only one they had in stock. And it was only like six or seven bucks, but it didn't work. And I am not sure why. Um, I'm assuming there's minor differences between the seals and, you know, some are cheaper and some are more expensive, but AutoZone only had one in stock. So that was the one that I bought. What I decided to do was I pulled out the replacement timing cover that I had, and this is the same timing cover that I put on the engine a few years ago. So I pulled the seal out of that. Uh, this was for when I was going to swap the camshaft, but that hasn't happened yet. So I just robbed the seal out of there, uh, and you can see that it is a different color, and it's a different size. Um, this is the seal that I bought from AutoZone, and you can see that it just kind of falls in there. It doesn't really press in there at all, and it has a little bit of wiggle room, so you can you, know, you can spin it. But it wasn't spinning in the timing cover because I put some RTV on the outside, and uh, knowing that it would, uh, you know, kind of glue it in place. But I'm not sure that it was actually even leaking on the outside. I'm thinking that it was actually leaking on the lip seal portion. And the only thing I can think of is that my damper is uh, has some wear. So you can't even catch a fingernail on that, but you can obviously see that there is, you know, some kind of uh, wear that's happening from the seal. And this is the stock damper, so I'm hoping uh, I'll be able to fix this with my new uh, ATI damper, which uh, I dropped off at the machine shop a couple days ago to get uh, a little bit more machining done so that it would not hit the, uh, this front lip on the seal. And then hopefully I'll be able to run my you know aftermarket damper, switch back to the individual ignition coils, and run it like that. So we're going to head back uh, to AutoZone, have some stuff to return, and then hopefully maybe you can get a refund on this timing or this uh, front main seal because uh, I want to take a look at a brand new one to see if it was uh, wearing out really fast. Um, to me, that's just a sign of a really cheap seal uh, because I was running this stock damper uh, for years with uh, this exact... Uh, timing cover and this orange seal it's different color so you can see i've already swapped out to the kind of orange seal and it actually pressed in there uh it didn't take a ton of pressure but it pressed in uh, and it won't rotate so that one fits uh, a lot better uh, and you could see way up there it was like kind of slinging uh, oil all the way up to the water pump. So I'm hoping that this fixes it and I won't be leaking oil anymore. Um, I gave the timing cover a ton of RTV on the mating surface and you know I've noticed leaks there previously um, but it looks this time like it was coming from the crank seal yet again uh, but this time it just seems like it's maybe a, just a cheap seal. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a pain. I really didn't want to pull the timing cover off. Maybe I should have done it, you know, back whenever I was having 
uh, when I replaced the seal, maybe I should have just pulled the whole timing cover off, but you live and you learn, and uh, hopefully uh, before long here, maybe that plastic timing cover won't be an issue anymore. So maybe in uh, uh, later next year, we'll be uh, swapping this motor out. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna run to the store, uh, grab some parts, return some parts, and uh, we'll pick up my uh, ATI damper that's been machined too, and then we'll get back at it and try and get this thing back together and get packed up and ready to go to Florida. I just got back from the machine shop, picked up the hub, which is now uh, freshly machined so that the uh, seal doesn't come into contact with the damper, so. Hopefully that solves the problem with uh, me modifying the damper. Uh, not too bad, so we're gonna be able to press this thing back on. And the nice thing about that is now I can reinstall my crank trigger so that I can hook up the individual coils again and get rid of this darn distributor and distributor cap. So we'll do that and hopefully uh, Take it for another test drive make sure everything's good and hopefully this time there will no there will not be oil leaking out of the front of the motor uh, and uh, just another quick note um, put some blue loctite on these screws uh, to reassemble also going to put these uh, on these uh, to hold the crank pulley and the crank trigger on Put a dab of blue Loctite on those. And finally, maybe once and for all, get rid of this stock damper. Okay, well I struggled with it for a while, but eventually I got that sucker pressed on. So now everything is all hunky-dory under here. Uh, I haven't uh, plugged in my new crank sensor for uh, the individual coil kit. I'm gonna clean off this little bit of oil residue that's on the pan and Make sure everything isn't leaking after I go for a drive. So Pressing that crank damper on there is not easy. I either need a longer wrench or a ratcheting wrench that fits this like 1 and a 16th hex size because man that, that is no fun. I mean this pressing tool does a great job but it's just pretty difficult. I um, started to put some tools together. So I got this toolbox and I got a couple of bins to put spare parts and fluids and whatnot in. I have my cargo rack that I put lights on for drag week. So that's going to come in handy again. I have my race wheels and tires to load up. And I pretty much decided I'm not going to bring my little uh, pop-up tent. I literally didn't set it up a single time on drag week because we were so um busy like just running 
and packing up and leaving so it was not worth bringing so i'm not even going to bring the extra weight so yeah um i think that's pretty much it um so maybe we'll wrap this up tomorrow and then whenever we head down to florida we'll uh we'll catch back up got the uh timing cover sealed up it looks like it was leaking from there so i stayed up late cleaned that off really good and put some uh, rtv on the side of it so hopefully that takes care of that problem i'm gonna go take the truck for a quick spin and make sure that i fix the oil leak um also uh, my brother watched the video of uh doing a burnout in the firebird and i think he gave the nickname of fire turd uh so let me know what you think about that one. I had another name in mind, but I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, so, so whenever I picked up the uh, ATI damper to have it machined, I uh, picked that up from the machine shop. I also dropped off another part, uh, but that part is for the Firebird. So once I get back from Florida, we'll really get heavy into uh, modifying the Firebird. So I think that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm pumped to see uh, what you guys think of uh, what I have planned for the Firebird. going to be a lot of content on that thing. Uh, but it's probably not going to go super fast. It's going to take a lot of detail-oriented work, but I think it's going to look really good. I'm going to see how far I can push that little 3.8 liter V6 yeah, I already got a couple parts in the mail. Bought some uh, good deals on Black Friday, so some pretty big pieces of, of the puzzle. A lot of the parts I'm gonna wind up making. I have kind of uh, ideas in my head of what I'm gonna do, so we'll see how they turn out. Also, I've been working on making the next version of my uh, custom operating system for the stock computer for LS1. I've limited my uh, next operating system to the P59 or one megabyte LS1 uh, PCM. There's just a lot more room uh, to add custom code and whatnot, so it uh, makes it a lot easier. I think the feature set right now is going to include a couple big things that have never been seen with the stock PCM. Uh, or I've already added launch control and no one's ever done that before so um, that's kind of you know that's gonna stick around but the next one is a four bar compatibility so you can run a, up to a four bar map sensor and uh, since those are getting so cheap now that the new GM uh, computers or G the new GM vehicles come factory with a four bar map sensor they're very inexpensive for a quality AC Delco map sensor so they should be really easy to find at like any parts store and it allows the ability to run like over 30 pounds of boost so that's pretty cool. the next big thing that I'm gonna be adding which I've already tested but not the final code is boost control so I'm going to add some functionality for open loop boost control which uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. So you basically just wire in a couple pins, or really just one, and I, I think, uh, I forget if it's uh, ground switched or power switched. I'm gonna have to, it'll be all in the documentation once I'm done. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be pretty awesome. So you'll be able to, you know, use open loop boost control on the stock ECU. And then the biggest one is a uh, wideband uh, closed loop. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm excited to uh, test that. I might actually put that on my truck and test it while I'm down uh, in Florida, just to uh, try and line things out with it, make sure everything's functioning before I you know, put the software out there. But yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty sweet too.
Well, you can see there, after driving it, there's no oil leak, so that's fantastic.